What the hell? Titan is written and directed by Julia Docronau, who previously released Raw a couple years ago, and I really liked Raw. It really surprised me, so I was excited to see what she does next. Unfortunately, with Titan, it runs into a bit of a problem because I don't want to reveal anything about the plot with this movie, because even if you watch the trailer, it reveals nothing about what the movie's about. And it is one of the most interesting experiences I've had watching a movie this year. The movie stars Agathe Roussel, which I apologize if I got that name wrong, as Alexia, the main character, and Vincent London as Vincent. And it really just revolves around those two characters and their interactions with each other in this movie. And like I said, I don't want to unveil anything about what the movie's actually about, so this is a little bit harder to do because I, re I recommend watching this without knowing anything about it. This movie, however, is very, very graphic in just about every single way. Um, this movie is incredibly violent. There is some very graphic violence in this movie that is genuinely off-putting and disturbing. This movie is also sexually graphic. There's a lot of nudity in this movie, and it does serve a purpose to the plot, but th this is definitely a movie that you might want to look into what the content of it is before you watch it, because there's a lot happening in it. And like I said, it is both sexually and violently graphic. So it's a bit of a hard watch. The subject matter is very intense. Duke Rennell tackles several different genres within this movie and mixes them all together to the point where it really becomes its own thing. Which is what I really liked about Parasite when it came out, is that it becomes its own thing because it's being so many other things. And this movie does that to probably a bigger extent than Parasite because this movie has aspects of horror, thriller, action, a bunch of subgenres of horror like body horror and stuff like that, also mixed with comedy and feel-good movies because this movie is weirdly wholesome in the way it pl its plot plays out, which I found to be incredibly impressive because Duke Renau, uh starts off this movie with a very surprising jump into a certain feeling that you're supposed to have towards like the main character and everything and then has to spend a good chunk of the rest of the movie making the relationship between this character and Vincent believable and does it in a believable way to the extent that you do care for their relationship and it feels kind of wholesome and it's kind of a feel-good story which is insane if you actually know what it's about but like I said I don't want to say anything about what happens because if I describe it people are gonna think I'm crazy because this movie is kind of batshit crazy and that's something I loved about it is that it's insanely original uh, it gives itself a, basically a nearly impossible task to do with the feelings it wants the audience to go through and it accomplishes that and I commend Duke Arnell for doing that. Duke Arnell's directing is impeccable. Uh, with this type of story I don't think there's really anybody else who could have directed it and made it work. So a lot of credit to her for that. The writing is also really good because this movie is insanely unpredictable. I had no idea where this movie was going from scene to scene but it also made sense throughout it. Uh, the acting is also really good. Uh, the, the main two actors have a very believable chemistry, and especially Rizelle as Alexia was really, really good in this movie. I think it's probably one of the better performances from this year. Like I said, it is hard to talk about this movie without spoiling it, but I ended up enjoying it quite a bit. It is a crazy movie, and it's very, it's a very graphic movie, like I said, I've said several times. 
I can also see this being a movie that a lot of people will not enjoy because of what it goes for within it and that's totally understandable because there's a lot of stuff that they do in this movie that is disturbing to watch and confusing and weird and off-putting but it's also incredibly original I, I wasn't personally sold on everything it tries to do in this movie I honestly thought it could have been longer to develop the characters a little bit more uh, for the climax that it does get to but I also think it was done well enough where it is believable but it is definitely the most surprising movie I've seen this year I am very excited to see what Duke Arnau does next because whatever she's on <laughs> I want some of it because it's insanely creative but I'm going to be rating Titan a 9.0 out of 10 watch this movie with a little bit of caution but I do highly recommend it if you guys have seen it what did you think about it let me know and I'll be back with another video